hello, hello. So, uh, for this lab, I'm doing something a little different. I have all my 90% silver half dollars, $25 off right now during this live, and I'm going to make one for you. So you get to watch how it gets made, and if you want to get one, you can hop over to the website and save yourself 25 bucks. Anybody here want to see how I make a coin ring? Let's go. <coughs> I made like a little announcement post for this live, but it was only like five minutes ago. I think you have to wait a little longer than five minutes for that to work. But either way, we're going to jump into it. Uh, during this live, 90% silver half dollar rings are 25% off at cornringmaker.com. So y'all go check that out. There's some Franklin half dollars, as well as Walking Liberty half dollars, and Kennedy half dollars. Now the first thing we gotta do is punch a hole in it. So we're gonna get our little hole punch tool here. Just lay that down and screw the top on. Dang, we already got like 600 likes. Thank you guys very much. And we'll put the little punch in here. Get my hammer ready. And again, uh, half dollar coin rings are $25 off right now on my website, which is linked on my profile. So if you want to get one, now's a good time to do it. And uh, if you want to hang around and just watch me make one, that's cool too. If you have any questions, put them in the chat, okay? There is the center punch. Let's check our coin out. Looks pretty centered to me. Pop it off of here real quick. If one of you guys with uh, free hands could do me a favor and just type in the comments that 90% uh, silver half dollar rings are $25 off during this live, that'd be super. I'd appreciate it. thousand likes awesome awesome but we're just cleaning up that cut edge from where we punch the center out making it nice and smooth here real quick and then we're gonna do what's called annealing so we're gonna heat this up can I do size 11 and a half? I sure can. Absolutely. You know, let's take a good look at our coin so far. Pretty cool. Let's heat it up. Thank you very much, Big Lee.
Okay, I'm on TikTok way too much to not how to know how to use my own comment section, but that's something I just haven't figured out yet. We got some nice fire scale toning on that. Look at that. And greens and golds and grays. It's pretty cool. I can feel it's still a little rough right on the edge here, so I am gonna deburr it a little bit more. Yes, baby. Can I ask uh, your people a question? If you need to. I do. They're coin, like they're ring people, right? Sure. Do you like rings? Okay. Hi, this is the coin ring maker's wife. And I have a question. So I have this beautiful piece um, on a chain. And then I got another one. And I wanted to know what everybody thought about adding a lot of people joining. Hi, hi. Um, I'd like to know about adding this bunny. Hi. To this hoop. And wanted to know what everybody thought. So it'll be one bunny on a choker and one bunny on a bottom. Can I get some hearts or something to let me know what's up? So, let me lay out what, what it looks like. It is a chain with a tighter chain up at the top and then one at the bottom. So, I've got one bunny at the bottom... And with the second bunny, I would like to add it at the top towards the choker. Ooh. So how... Sorry, I'm not good on camera. But does everybody agree? Is this a vibe for a two-chained necklace with your biker bunny rings? So we're liking it? Yeah? Yeah? I'll show you what they look like on, though. So they're very nice, um, but I work and the ears tend to get in the way, so I wanted to add, because they're sentimental, so I wanted to add them to this nice link chain um, to go along with the sentimental of this bunny as well. So I'm going to see if the coin ring maker can snip this middle one right here. And go ahead and add dead bunny number two. Is anybody interested in watching that? Okay, you got a lot of people joining. Okay, so I'm going to have Coin Ring Maker go ahead and snip it for me really quick. If you guys would like to tune in and watch. Or I can do it. Do you have... Mine too. Okay, so I do body piercings for a living, and my body clips for jewelry are currently missing. And I guess my husband's are too. So maybe we can think about adding bunny number two down here to the links that my husband's already added. Or do you guys feel like two bunnies down here would be too much? Or maybe I continue to make a bunny chain. Where do you want to put the first one? The first? Well, you'll need to cut it. Cut what? Right here. I should just be able to open it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, thought I, I can I just open it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just open this on camera and add that bunny ring. Let's get it lined up really quick. Yeah, you're going to have these. Is it on the second? Okay. Well, make sure it's, yeah, that's pretty, yes. I'm pretty sure. Okay, that's, that's so we're evened one. up. 
it's a it's a jump ring so there's a there's a split in it right there already so we don't have to cut it i can just open it up use two needle nose pliers here grab on both ends and this is kind of hard to get in focus but we'll try can you pinch the zone uh, zoom in the phone like pinch the screen yeah other way other way out there you go mm -hmm. okay i'll try and get it there do, do, do. there we go perfect just... so we'll just go ahead and give it a nice turn and it is pretty heavy metal um not sure what kind but it's pretty thick it's pretty rough yeah it's probably steel um there you go all right so i'm gonna put bunny ears facing up so for the extra you know just the dramatics of it all um if you don't know uh the coin remaker's wife loves playboy do i need to open it up a little more yeah i'll need to open it up a little bit more i love playboy stuff not like the whole sexual endo okay, but you gotta chill i saw this and i'm punk and i like my like dark stuff so i saw this and i thought how perfect um yeah he was doing something i'm sorry joey 13 eight four eight well that didn't turn out the way i needed yeah, it to that through there okay bunny ears in close bunny ears onto chain sorry guys i'm just trying to put a new piece together for work tomorrow i'm sorry i do I like the undead Playboy bunny. I like Playboy in general, mad respect. Oh, I think we need to pinch out, yeah. Okay, go. so bunny, <laughs> bunny's made to chain. So what you guys have agreed upon is a nice, lovely Playboy bunny chain for work tomorrow. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for your input. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Love you, babe. That's my wife. She's pretty cool. What do y'all think of her? <laughs> well, for uh, anyone who doesn't know what was going on before, my wife insisted I alter her necklace. Uh, right now I've got all my 90% silver half dollar coin rings $25 off on my website and we are making this 1941 into a ring let's go a little over the edge of this dome here so I'm gonna go up to the next biggest one and start there
So usually the 90% silver half dollars are 150 and they are $25 off during this live. So they'll be 125. That's uh, Walk and Liberty, Franklin, and uh, Kennedy. I've got quite a few. There's a uh, category on my website that says on sale, and you can find all of them in there. If you want to get you one, go save 25 bucks. It's only illegal to fraudulently alter currency. So if you take like a penny and make it look like a dime and try and spend it, that's illegal, but making coins into jewelry has been around for hundreds of years. And uh, it's very similar legally to a, a penny smashing machine. You might find in SeaWorld or an amusement park or a museum. Did there was a kneel and quench our coin that softens up the silver and makes it easier to fold and shape. We've got it in kind of a cone shape. And what we want to do is stretch out this thinner circle here and get it more to a ring shape. So that's what we're doing right now. If anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. Again, all 90% half dollars are $25 off during this live. And uh, if you just want to watch me make one, that's cool. Bad focus. There we go. Kind of. Almost. Yeah. There we go. Check our ring size. It's about a nine and a half. Go over here and stretch it out just a little bit. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. My wife brings a little bit of a different energy. This one is uh, 1941. I'm not sure I have any 61s. Got a lot of 64s though. No, you're good. You're good. No worries. States are small. They're hard to read. I agree. <laughs> Why am I yelling? Oh, all caps. I don't know. Some people just type in all caps. It is what it is. Here's our ring so far. Now what I'm going to do is wrap it in some plumber's tape. That's going to help protect the detail on it. Track down the tape. I could get a 61 if you wanted me to, but I'm not certain I have any on hand. It's hard to keep a a good year range inventory on coins. They've been making them a while. Oh, I do have uh, 1961 quarters though, if you'd like a quarter coin ring. How long have I been making rings? I've been doing this for about two and a half years.
Uh, 78 would have to be copper. They didn't do any uh, silver coins in 1978, but I do have uh, copper quarter rings from that year that you could get. So this is called a Swedish wrap. It's a really cool die. It's gonna make this uh, ring smaller. pushing it down inside here. Get a little more of a ring shape to it. I, I, I don't look at it as work. I, I really enjoy doing it. I'd rather be making rings than playing video games or going to a bar. I don't know. <laughs> I like it. I actually sold my first gold coin ring like 30 minutes ago. Uh, Mexican coins. I have uh, Libertads. Uh, they're one ounce fine silver rounds. And they're $300. I've got them from 1983, 84, and 85. Yeah, yeah. No, you're fine. Use all caps. You're not going to bother me. Makes it easier to read. Don't apologize. Here is our ring so far. It's looking pretty good. I'm gonna throw a little more tape on it and put it in this way now to kind of even it up. You can see it's a little wider on that side. And uh, for anyone who's just joined in and doesn't know what's going on here, I'm a coin ring maker. I make coins into rings. During this live, all my 90% silver half dollar rings are $25 off. You can find those on the on sale section on my website, which is on my profile. So if you want to get you a cool coin ring and save you some money, that's a good time to do it. And if you just want to watch me work on this ring, that's cool too. It's all good. You're fine. Here is our ring so far. Let's go ahead and unwrap it and check it out. See how it's looking. Too bad. You can see this end is still a little bit wider than this one. So that gives me a nice excuse to try out my new tool. It's called wall wall straighteners. cone here. Looks like that will work nicely. Let's find a pad to sit it on. That one's too small. 
small. Howdy, howdy. Again, guys, um, half dollar coin rings are $25 off at coinringmaker.com during this live. And that's what we're making. We're making a half dollar coin ring here. this is supposed to work is I can push down on this cone and it's going to stretch out that top part. So let's see how it goes. Get a little closer for you. And we're trying to get it nice and even with that bottom half. Does look much better. And from here we can do some minor shaping to get it down to the right size. So this is a Walking Liberty half dollar. It's 90% silver. It's from 1941 got a range of years in these from the 40s up to the 50s and the 30s as well. Uh, I've also got some 90% silver Kennedy half dollars and all those half dollars are on sale during this live. $25 off. All of them. Trying to find the right size die to make this a little smaller. Not quite. This one looks promising. Yes. Give it a little tap, make sure it's in there nice and flat. Flip it over a little. There we go. Not too bad. Looks like I got an order for a piece dollar. So let's check that out. Thanks. I'm just going to hit it with some steel wool and get this fire scale off of here real quick. Check out that piece dollar order. Boo, boo, boo. So here's a look at it. All right, Mr. Coin. What year did you get? Yes, I do offer pure silver coins. They're called fine silver. Uh, fine silver rounds. I actually have them in one ounce, half ounce, and quarter ounce. 1923. Let's find it. This will need a little more cleanup over time, but it looks pretty good. Here's the 26 and the 20. Oh, that's the 23 right there. That one is clean. Let's go. That's a good looking coin. But this coin right here and this one right here, these are actually 90% silver. So constitutional silver is 90%. Uh, bullion, like American Eagles, are uh, 0.9999. Let's see here, Mr. Coin, what size ring do you need? And did you want, you probably want the, uh, the head side out, right? I can, I can check all this on my computer, but it'll take me a second. So I'm just going to ask you. 11, 11 and a half. Get the 
this way. The Sacagawea dollars are made with a, a really weird alloy. It's like five different metals, and I'm afraid that people with metal sensitivity um, will like break out from it. So I I don't I don't do the Sacagawea. Yeah, I can do size eight, just because the metal's weird. But yeah, we'll, we'll I usually do it with the. Uh, here's an example of a finished one. I usually do it with the ear facing out and in God we trust over that. And then you got Liberty across the top. So we're going to punch a hole through this real quick. Okay. There is our center punch. Set that over here. And again, uh, for anyone who's just joined in, all my 90% silver Walking Liberty uh, and other 90% silver half dollars are $25 off right now. So if you just go to my website and tap on the on sale category, uh, you can save 25 bucks on a half dollar coin ring. Uh, mostly I use a half inch punch. Uh, some, some things I use different size punches for. But most of the time I'm using a half inch. Pennies, nice. So after we punch the center out here, you can see there's a pretty sharp edge on both sides, a little rough. So I like to take a deburring tool and just cut that away and clean it up. This is going to be a size 11 and a half. If I read it right, I believe that's correct. Almost got 3,000 likes on this live. Thank you guys very much. Sorry, this is kind of the slow, boring, quiet part, but we will get to more exciting stuff here in just a second. 11 and a half. Nice, nice. What do I do with the scraps? So far, I just kind of keep them in a little Tupperware. like ASMR. Very nice. Well, we got some nice, smooth, happy edges on the inside of our coin now. Doesn't that look nice? Now let's burn it. We're going to hit it with some fire. This is a process called annealing. So what we're going to do is we're going to heat it up and then dip it in this water. That's going to soften this silver up and make it easier to fold into a ring. Quite a few, but I started on copper, so it wasn't that bad. The hardest ring to do, silver dimes, because they're so fragile. Yeah. No. I I'm talking like like copper quarters, like like copper clad like this. This is what I started practices on. And then once once I got good at this, I moved up to 90% silver. And then 
when I got better at that, I moved up to fine silver. And just today, I got my first gold coin that I'm going to be making into a ring. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'm also a little nervous. But here we're going to fold our coin. That's been, it's been quite a journey, man. I have been working a lot on fine silver, which is a lot softer. Than this constitutional silver. So, this stuff actually makes me use my muscles. All right, guys, here it is. It's my first gold coin. I'm going to be wrecking relatively soon. This is a quarter ounce gold eagle from 2001. This is going to go to Pog Champ or Giant Toddler, if you guys know him. He's a coin roll hunter. And he got a silver quarter coin ring for me a while back, and he just loved it. So he's like, I want to be your first gold coin ring customer. So we got that hooked up. Over, it was like 650 bucks. But luckily, it's just going to be a size 7. <laughs> I've been making these monsters for the past week, size 17s, so I'm, I'm glad to be working on something a little smaller, but it's definitely, it's a hefty investment, but I, I'm really happy that I was able to find a customer to do it. I, I wouldn't have been able to do it without like having a solid, solid customer. So there is a second one. So if anybody else wants the other one, it's live on the website right now. I do what your grandpa does. That's cool. He sounds like a cool dude. I bet I could get along with your grandpa pretty well. When am I going to do it? Well, he was going live right when I started talking to him about it tonight. So he didn't want me to do it tonight. The gold coin ring is $1,300. Now, the gold coin was $650. And I, I went back and forth over how to price these things quite a bit. But with the chances of me messing up on a coin ring eventually, I need to charge at least double what the coin costs. So that's, that's what I've settled on, at least right now. If I charged any less than that, I don't think I could afford to really make them, if that makes sense. So we're slowly folding this one out. And it's tough, man. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's a tough one. Also, just make sure not to talk prices on TikTok. I've been seeing some people get their eyes banned. I mean, my prices are on my website. It's... I don't think it'll be a problem. Because I'm, I'm literally like a business account. Like, if I can't talk about prices, like, <laughs> I'm going to have some problems. So, there's two different kinds of metals. There's ferrous metal and there's non-ferrous metal. Uh, copper, silver, and gold, when you heat them up, you can quench them in water and they won't re-harden. But metals like steel and iron, you want those to air cool because they will harden back up in water. No, I understand. I appreciate you looking out. The 90s 
quarters. I think the silver started in 92. So you're like one year off. This is the earliest year they made 90% silver uh, after 64. So I wouldn't be able to make you a, a silver 91. It would have to be copper. I'm sorry about that. Some dates are just, it's, it's a big miss. The whole 70s are very difficult. Oh, you have the quarter? Well, it'll just be... I mean, I can do that. Um, I have a button on my profile. Just tap my logo right here. And hit get a quote. And just tell me about your coin and what uh, size you need your ring. And we can get that worked out. I'll get a quote for you. So we got that folded all the way in there finally. But I'm pretty sure it's copper. I, I'm pretty sure they didn't make silver quarters in 91. Oh, you're funny. Got another coin ring maker in the house. Dropping jokes. I'll give you a follow, dude. That's, that's good. No, I couldn't believe it when I when I learned that that there's no 75 quarter. That's that's a fun fact I like to drop on live sometimes. Do, 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 do. Let's see how far I can fold this before it gets too tough for me. Not that far. <laughs> this is a bad boy of a coin right here. It is, it's tough. We'll go and kneel it again. Yeah, they changed the direction George is facing, and they changed his ponytail a little bit. And they repositioned uh, "In God We Trust." They changed. They changed quite a bit. I can show you. I've got some fancy ones here. That's what the new quarters look like. And these are fine silver too. They stopped doing 90% silver in 2019. So these are all fine silver. They've all got uh, American women on the back. It's pretty cool. To re-soften the metal. So as I bend and shape it, it, it work hardens. And it makes it really difficult. It also makes it more brittle. So the chances of it snapping right here go up drastically so I have to keep reheating it to keep it soft handmade jewelry in America it's a little pricey yeah it's legal It's very similar to like penny smashers at an amusement park. You ever seen those? Yeah, no problem. Getting a real nice cone shape going here. It's a 1923. We should be able to finish this folding up in this guy here.
No, actually, the law specifically mentions fraudulently altering currency. So if you were to take, like, a penny and make it look like a dime and try and spend that, that would be against the law. But as long as you're not committing, you know, fraud or trying to counterfeit, uh, you can you can make jewelry out of coins. So the best way to measure your ring size is to visit an actual jewelry store in person and just get size there. Uh, it shouldn't cost you anything, it should take less than five minutes and it's going to be like the most accurate way to get a comfortable ring. I wish there was a better way to do it at home but all the online finger measuring tactics end up with wrong sizes consistently. And I don't want you to have to ship your ring back to me because you measured it with a, you know, a string or something. So if you can visit a jewelry store and get sized there, we're both going to be happier for it. I promise. That's the way to go. All right. So on my website right now, coinringmaker.com, you can get... 90% silver half dollar coin rings like this one for $25 off. They are in the on sale section. Should be pretty easy to find. If you're interested in that, go take advantage of it. It is a sale that's only going on during this live. probably have sales again yeah dude I'm telling you shop tiles are incredibly useful one of my favorite tools is a blue shop towel I like them Uh, Susan B. Anthony coin is worth one dollar. We are making a peace dollar from 1923 into a ring. I'm also having a half dollar sale. All my 90% silver half dollar coin rings are $25 off right now. Coinringmaker.com, go check them out. They're pretty cool. Next step here is wrapping this up in some plumbing tape. Welcome back.
Sorry, the tape wrapping takes uh, two hands. Can't wait to see the gold coin ring me too. I'm pretty stoked about it. So we're gonna push this down here and make it smaller. Yeah. Uh, first push is usually pretty easy because it's mostly just the tape getting out of the way. This next push is going to be a little tougher. It depends on the coin. I have a button on my profile that says get a quote. If you can just go there and give me some information about your coin and what ring size you're looking to get, I can get you a quote. There's our ring so far. Starting to get a little more ring shaped. Now we need to flip it over, even it out. Add a little more tape to it. Yeah, no problem. Uh, if anybody else has any questions, Feel free to ask. Well, I started with a hammer. Hammer and a mandrel. Two and a half years ago. Pounding it out. My wife called it banging and clanging. So, she insisted I get some quieter tools. My, my nickname for my one-ton press is my quiet hammer. I'm not going to lie. I literally Googled quiet hammer. <laughs> I was like, what, what do I do? My hammer is too loud. So here is our ring so far. We've definitely got some more reducing to do, but we're going to anneal it and soften it up again. So I work on copper, 90% silver, fine silver, and now gold. There's some metal I don't work with, like steel and nickel, lead. I try to stick with the, uh, the Olympic metals, you know what I mean? Thank you very much. Get real close for this here. I mean, I've done aluminum. <laughs> I've done it. I don't sell them, though. No, it's, it's not great. Do I have any 2022 quarters yet? Yes. Um, I have a couple 2022 uh, copper-clad quarters, and then I have all five of the 2022 fine silver quarters so you can pick any of these famous women they're pretty cool man yeah the bat ones are nice yeah platinum next no doubt no doubt go ahead and wrap this up again here Wrap it up real good. And send it back down the Swedish wrap. You have the one with the woman with her hands out. That was the first one I got too. Yeah, I've done a 
I've done 2019. I could do a Platinum Eagle. Oof. Looks like bubble gum. Nice. Trying to find the right die. Y'all are distracting. I'm just kidding. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching, guys. You make it so much more fun. Maybe. I mean, he started with silver. My customers continue to surprise me for what they ask for, but they, they're they the ones who always push my limits, man. Customer asked for my first Morgan dollar, actually sent me the Morgan to work on, and insisted I do it. And look at me now. Making Morgan dollars and not batting an eye about it. It's wild. Wild, wild, wild. See that tape's taking quite quite a beating. Uh, yeah, I could. Um, if you go to my profile, there's a button that says get a quote. Uh, it just asks you to give me as much information about the coin as you can and your ring size. And I'll get back to you. Yeah, more bubble gum. So we flipped it over here. We're trying to even it out. So the white ones are uh, made out of like hard plastic, and these are made out of bronze, which is kind of a softish metal. When it gets smaller, I prefer to use the plastic ones, because if it slips inside, like if one of these brass ones slips inside the ring, it can damage it up a lot worse. With the plastic ones, they'll take that damage. I don't know, it's it's really just something you kind of got to get a feel for, like which one works better in which situation. Very close to an 11 and a half. Pretty much, I just move it little bits at a time. I used to go full throttle with it, and then you have to stretch it back out because you'll reduce it too too much. So I just do a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Check it, a little bit, check it. There is our coin ring so far. here I need to get rid of right here on the inside edge of this coin if I leave that there it's gonna be really uncomfortable I can usually make a ring within one to two days I make them pretty quick so we're gonna cut away that edge and make the inside of this ring a lot more even you can kind of see it sticking out there
And again, all my 90% silver half dollar coin rings are $25 off right now during this live. So if you want to get you one, go check them out. I've got several different types. Walking Liberty, Kennedy, Franklin. Now this looks really easy, but it's actually one of the more difficult things to do. Because there's all this nice detail on the inside here, and I don't want to scratch that up at all. But we have to get rid of that lip. And it looks like we did a pretty good job. Nice. Yeah, this is called a deburring tool. It's mostly used by plumbers to clean up pipe that has sharp edges, but it's excellent for cleaning up coin rings. Okay, we do need to anneal this a little bit more. <laughs> the people at Sally's think you have a nail salon. <laughs> you go in there and buy up all their nail files. That's what I do at Walmart. I'll go in there and I'll buy all of these. All of them. <laughs> it's just water. Just plain old sink water. Nothing fancy. Oil would, would jump out at me and burn my skin, so I don't recommend quenching in oil. I think that's more of like a knife thing. Get them by the dozen. You're a pro then. <laughs> How long you been at this? How long you been making rings, bud? Eight years. I'm two and a half in. So you got me beat. No doubt. It's fun though, huh? So you ain't never gonna ring them all. There's, there's so many different types of coins out there. I don't think I'll ever get bored of it. I just did this one today. I've never done this one before. Poseidon Atlantis round. It's nuts, man. This thing is just loaded with wild underwater sea life detail. It's fantastic. So cool. It pays for my car. Nice. in here a little bit so I'm just going to pop it out. Pop it. And let's check it. We should be a lot closer to what we're wanting here. Yeah, there's blue tape on it. We'll get the blue tape off. Don't worry. It's not there forever. It is still too small. My mind is blown. We gotta go to a smaller reduction die. I really thought we were done with it. I thought we were there. Surprise, surprise. We'll just 
just let this one chomp it. Chomp. Still not enough. Still wearing mine every day. Very nice. Uh, the blue tape is called Monster Tape. It's like Teflon plumbing tape, but it's a little stronger than the average Teflon tape. Uh, let's see here. It's called Blue Monster. It's pretty good stuff. Depends on the coin and what it's made of. I don't know, there's a lot of variables that go into the price. Yeah, it's bubblegum, again. I don't know what that is. Nineteen forty three penny is made out of steel. They're magnetic. If you have one, you can stick a magnet to it. It's pretty cool. All right, let's check it out. Hopefully we're getting closer. These the last few rings I made have been really big, so my size estimates by eye are off. It's looking pretty nice though. It is just a smidge away from an 11 and a half. So Bingo, right at 11 and a half. Hop it here. And let's bring that silver back to life. We just finished making a 1923 piece dollar into a ring. Now we're gonna make it pretty. Got all this fire scale and tape on here. Let's get rid of that. What do you think, Mr. Coin? Do you like it? I think it's pretty handsome.
So there's the outside all nice and cleaned up. The inside still has a bunch of fire scale on it, so we're going to clean that up next. And then we're going to put it in a pickle solution. That's going to help knock the rest of that fire scale off of there. And then we'll polish it up. If anybody else would like to order a coin ring and see it get made on this live, head over to the website. It's right there in my profile. All 90% silver half dollars are $25 off during this live. So somebody go get one. If you have any questions, put them in the chat. If you enjoyed this live, please tap the screen. We're at 4,200 likes. Now we're going to grab my pickle solution here. This is borax and water. So it's basically very acidic water. And that's going to help burn off any other things left over on this coin and make it nice and shiny. That will take about two minutes. So if anybody has any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. If you haven't yet, go visit the website. It's linked in my profile. And uh, so a uh, half dollar coin ring, 90% silver one is usually 150. During this live, they're $25 off, so 125. Uh, 1984 quarter would be $20. So I randomly saw one YouTube video of a guy make a quarter into a ring, and I was like, that looks pretty cool, I should give it a try, and fell in love with it, and accidentally built a business around it. So uh, two and a half years later, I'm still making them pretty much every day. I, I really have a lot of fun doing it. Learned a lot about coins, met a lot of cool people, started my own website. It's It's been a wild ride. Alright, I'd say that's been about two minutes. Let's get our copper tongs. Because if I use anything steel in here, it will contaminate the acid. Splash it in some regular water. Get my favorite tool, our blue shop towel. And just kind of rub all that crap off of there. Look at all that crap. That's pretty. Yeah, that's nice. get a little polishing cloth and shine it up just a tad bit more. Well, I'm glad you like it. Thank you very much for your order. Thanks for supporting my small business and 
spending some time watching me make this for you. I had a blast. I hope you did too. And uh, if you ever want to go back and watch this video again, it will be on my YouTube channel, Coin Ring Maker. There's a button for it on my profile. You can go subscribe real quick. And uh, it should be live in a couple of days. So you can go back and watch your ring get made over and over and over. <laughs> or just one more time if you feel like it. You know, whatever's, whatever suits your fancy. Very pretty. You want to know a secret, Mr. Coin? This is the first peace dollar I've ever sold. Like, this is one of my favorite coin designs. I thought it was so cool. I got like five of them, and I've been holding on to them for over a year and a half, and you're the first person to get one. So I really want to say thank you very much. I hope you like it. Let's see if I can find something to prop up my phone. There we go. Yeah. So this is the first official coin ring maker piece dollar ever sold. You got it, sir. It's pretty. I'm just gonna keep polishing it for like 10 minutes. Make it really nice and shiny. Uh, if anybody else has any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. Well, thanks, Dogwood. show this off here for just a little bit. I did get another order in while I was working on this, so I'm going to go ahead and grab that coin so we can get started on it here in just a second. Uh, while y'all wait, go ahead, visit my website, all half dollar, uh, 90% uh, coin rings are $25 off right now. Just go to the on sale category and uh, check them out. stamp anything showing I made it I'm currently in the process of having a maker's mark commissioned so they're working on it it's going to take them about two and a half weeks but I will soon have a stamp I can put on the inside of the ring that will denote that that I'm the one who made it so these were really popular about a year and a half ago I sold a whole bunch of these uh, then it kind of slowed down after Christmas. I don't know what happened, but uh, we're going to go ahead and make another one. This is going to be a size 10. Let's do it. So the last stamp I got. It looks like this. It's got my website on there. It's got my little George Washington with the sunglasses. And the problem with this one is it's just too big. So this is when I tried to use it here and it just doesn't fit. So I have to get a smaller one and they are working on how that's going to look. So I haven't actually seen the final like mock-up of it yet. It's, it's a really busy stamp engraving company. So I don't mind waiting for it. They do really good work. But I'm not sure what it's going to look like yet. Probably uh, just a, like a smirking dude with aviator sunglasses. That's what I'm hoping for. Like a really, really tiny smirking George in glasses. Because it's got to be like 
four or five millimeters. It's gonna be pretty small. So if you're allergic to nickel, I offer 90% silver and fine silver rings. So you should be able to find something that's not gonna cause an allergic reaction. Gold. I just added my first gold coin ring to my store today. I'm so excited about it. It's a quarter ounce eagle. You want to see it? It's very pretty. So this is available on the website right now. I can't make them very big, but I do have a gold coin ring available, if and you'll want to get one. It's from uh, 2021. Do, do, do. I'm gonna pop this off of here. That's so nice to answer that question with a yes. I've been saying no to gold for two and a half years. <laughs> I've just been like, no! Gold is crazy expensive. I'm terrified of it. No, this is, uh, this is relatively new gold. This is from uh, 2021. But yeah, now I can say, yes, I do have gold coin rings available. Not many, and they aren't big, but they're there. Maybe I'll be able to work my way up from a quarter ounce to a half ounce to an ounce. I don't know. I've worked my way up from copper to silver to fine silver to gold, so... We'll see how far I can go. Platinum, maybe? You can. Uh, I have a button on my profile that says get a quote. If you'll just go on there, tell me about your coin and what uh, size you need, and I can get a quote for you. What's after platinum? Uranium. We're going right into it. Bam. No, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe silver with gold inlay, diamonds. You know, there's there's lots of ways to go with jewelry. Start putting freaking rubies in my rings. There's no telling. Would you buy a Morgan dollar ring with a ruby in it? Some people would. And for anybody who hasn't heard, I do have a sale right now on my 90% silver half dollars. If you go to my website and just tap on the on sale button, it'll take you to all of them. They're all $25 off during this live. So if you're interested in that, go jump on it. And if you do order one, I will make it here live for you. All right, so now we're gonna start stretching this ring out. It's gonna be a size 10. So I'm going to stretch it to a size 11. Why? Because it's going to be cone shaped. I have to get rid of that cone shape by making one 
size smaller. So I don't have to make it a little bigger at that point. Let's get it to size up. ordered one from my fiance. I hope he likes it. You saw your TikTok and has been talking about it all day. Which one did he see? Well, thank you for your order, Megan. I sure hope he likes it too. I bet he will. off the side, wings on the side. It's a cute little ring. I like this one. It looks like we do have another order that came in, so we're going to check that out and get to work on it. Thanks again for watching, you guys. We're at 6,900 likes. This live has been going pretty solid. I hope you guys are having as much fun as I am. I know there's definitely some dead air moments here, but uh, I, I hope you're enjoying it. Looks like we got a 1984. Seven thousand two hundred likes. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know if I could train somebody to do this, you know? Like, I don't know if I could trust somebody <laughs> to make rings as good as me. A lot to remember. So I've probably made a thousand. At least a thousand quarter rings. I wouldn't mind hiring somebody to, like, ship stuff out for me. You know what I mean? Like, package and do all that. But as far as the ring making, that is, that's my territory. Well, I make at least one ring every day to stay sharp. Today, I have made, I believe, five or six. I've been pretty busy today. I made the Walkin' Liberty Half Dollar. I made the Atlantis. I just made the 2020 Back Quarter. So at least four. Nope, I'm still working my other job. But only four days a week, so that's nice. See, I get Monday through Wednesday off to hang out with you guys. How cool is that? There we go. That should be nice and clean. 
Let's go fold it. Again, 90% silver half dollars or $25 off at corneringmaker.com during this live. How about? So go check that out. Link is in my profile. Sound like a broken record, but hey, that's, it is what it is. Nice and out of focus there. Doesn't that ring look great, guys? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Come on. Camera. Says no. They don't get to see. Hello, welcome to the live, hope you're having a nice evening. Here's our ring so far. It's at about a size of 11. We need to get it to a little past a 13. So we're gonna heat it up, soften it up a bit. And it really does make a difference, annealing. There we go, that's right at a size 14. From there we can reduce it down. Show you how big it's looking right now. It's a good size ring from a quarter. But you can see it doesn't really sit evenly so we're gonna fix that down here flip it over and reduce it again one more time just for fun and look how nice and even it is now Beautiful. See how close it is to a 13. It should be right on. It's pretty close. We 
again, if y'all want to get a coin ring made by me, visit the website. It's linked on my profile. There's some stuff on sale there. There's also a 10% off coupon on my profile. So just tap that logo up there in the top corner. Get you that coupon. Give me a follow. Check out the sale. Get you something cool. There we go. So now we're just going to clean what we can of this fire scale off of here. With some steel wool. Try and get close. There we go. Get the inside now. Here you can see some of the higher details are starting to come through with their shine, but there's still some fire skill left over. So to get rid of that, we're gonna put it in a pickle solution and just let it sit for a little bit. This is like a, a borax, which is an acid, and that's just going to kind of eat away anything that's not metal on here. So we'll pop this in this little hot tub for coin rings and let it do its thing. It should take about two minutes. So while we wait, y'all go visit the website, check out the sale, use the coupon code, give me a follow, go subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I don't know, just hang out for two minutes. <laughs> Tap the screen a whole bunch if you want to, that's good. didn't really get to polish this up earlier so this is our walking liberty half dollar we did so let's go ahead and hit that with a polishing cloth a little bit clean it up I jumped right into that piece dollar I was excited but yeah these 90% uh, silver half dollars are $25 off during this live if that sounds cool to you we've got Kennedy, Franklin and Walking Liberty half dollars available wide range of sizes in that ring I think they come out pretty dang neat If anybody has any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. That's looking much better. Very nice. Do I have a 2012 American Eagle? Let me check. Got a 2020. 2021. 
16. Ha ha. I got you. I got you. Sure do. $300 if you want it. They make nice rings, man. There's a finished 2020. This is on the smaller side. This one barely fits on my pinky. I was trying to see how small I could get one. Yeah, all my one ounce fine silver round rings are $300. So as long as you're not counterfeiting or fraudulently altering the currency, it's not against the law. Uh, you can make it into jewelry. Like I'm not selling it as currency, right? I'm not saying this is a valuable coin. I'm saying this is fancy handmade in America jewelry. And that's what you get. I mean, they're, they're pretty. They get attention. Make my customers happy. I don't know. They might be a little magic. Oh man, sorry. If I zoom in too much, my LED light starts flashing, so I apologize for that. Jeez, it's doing it again. That's the worst. We'll just pull in here. There we go. But yeah, it took me like two and a half years and thousands of dollars in tools to figure out how to do this. So, I mean, you may think my prices are high, but I think they're fair. It's expensive to run your own business. I'm not going to lie. It's, it takes a lot of work. And I like to be paid well. <laughs> this should be done. Should be able to pull that out of here now. If anybody else has any questions, feel free to ask. Let's check out how this is looking. Can a silver dollar be made into a ring? I actually just made a silver dollar into a ring. I just did a uh, peace dollar from 1923. You want to see it? It's pretty. Let me grab it for you. See how close we can get without my camera freaking out. Yeah, 1923. I've also got Morgan dollars and American Eagles. If you'd like to get one of those. It says peace right there. I think that's a nice little feature. Pretty, pretty, pretty. That came out really nice. And here's a Morgan dollar. At the moment, I'm working on a quarter, though. These are what I started on. So this is this is like 
I don't know, like riding a bike for me, making quarter rings. That's how it all started. Well, I'm glad you think so, Rocky. Uh, right now I've got 90% uh, silver half dollars on sale. They're $25 off. So if you want to get you one of those, I can show you what they look like. This is a Walking Liberty half dollar. I've also got Franklin and Kennedy half dollars and 90% silver in the on sale section. So y'all go check that out. Links in the profile. Yeah, let's go. Woo, woo, woo. Get it nice and shiny. I like shiny stuff. I like making things shiny. Thanks for sharing the live. And thanks for liking it. We got a... 10,000 likes on this one. That's not too shabby, guys. Thank you for your support. Thanks for watching. Thanks for ordering if you have. Thanks for subscribing, following, checking out my YouTube channel and my profile. That's real nice of you guys. Go subscribe there. I really appreciate that. Wink, wink, nod, nod. All right, man. Well, I'm all caught up here. If anybody else wants to order a coin ring and see it get made, head over to the website and place your order. Let's see if we got any. That looks good. I like that. You put Liberty or the date facing out there. Put it like this, have Liberty. Or have your date facing out. Good looking ring. Very nice. Does anybody have any questions? Because I think I'm gonna hop off of here if we don't get any more orders in. It's It's been a good, long, productive live. Uh, copper quarters start at $20, but the 2020 copper quarters are $10. They're just marked down so that, like, anybody can get a ring if they want to. Um, silver quarters are 100 silver half dollars are 150 usually. They're $25 off. So there's, there's a, there's a wide range in pricing. Just go check out the website and, uh, have a look around. Thanks again for coming by and uh, watching me make stuff. I had a good time. I hope you guys did too. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.